One, two, three. She's feisty, fearless, focused, and fun. Help me welcome to the stage, Pegeen. So, those of you that are planners understand what I'm about to say. Have you ever set up a meeting? Ooh, it's all ready to go. Chairs are set, tables are set, but you see one little thing that annoys you on stage. Have you ever experienced that? <laughs> so here I am. My keynote speaker is President Obama. My MC is Tom Selleck. We have 10,000 chairs. We're on the National Mall in front of the Vietnam Wall. And I'm sitting next to a tree, and I'm looking at the stage, knowing that within a day, all media from around the world is about to show up. But I'm looking at the stage, and something is missing. I figured out what was missing. If all the media was going to be on President Obama talking about the Vietnam veterans and the commemoration, wouldn't it be great to have American flags atop the Vietnam Wall? That would make sense, wouldn't it? It would to me. Well, when you're working with the National Park Association, when you're working with the White House, when you're working with some movers and shakers, that kind of decision doesn't just happen because you say it. I had to learn how to influence my champions, find the people that would give us permission to be the first time a company has ever placed flags on top of the wall. And today, we're going to talk about how did I create that influence so that you can hear it. Can I hear yay? Yes. Because I've got to tell you, it wasn't that easy. It wasn't that magical. It took having influence of champions, and that's what we're going to talk about today. How do you influence champions? And in that moment, I knew one thing. I've got the power, she's got the power, we've got the power to influence. Can this group and this group say, I've got the power? I know you're planners. Here in the middle, point to the person next to you. If it's a he, say, he's got the power. If it's a she, say, he, she's got the power. Ready? She's got the power. Now, all of you take your fingers, go like this, and say, we've got the power. We've got the power. Now I'm from New York, so we've got to have some um. So just say, to influence. Are we ready? One, two, three. I've got the power. All right, you did better with the apps. <laughs> so here's what I found is I've got the power, we've got the power, she's got the power to influence, and how does that happen? It happens through three key components. Know it, own it, and share it. You as planners need to own it, know it, know who you are, know what you're about, know what you stand for. Just like water is H2O, if I pour water in here, this glass, it takes the shape of this glass, correct? Sometimes we have to take the shape of someone's glass. Sometimes we work with celebrities. And we have to take the shape of them, listen to them. And sometimes we work with senior leaders. The truth of the matter is we're still H2O. We've just learned to conform, adapt, so we can influence our leaders. Can we hear a yay? Yeah. We have to know who we are, that we are truly, truly, and absolutely 100% who we are. We have to own it and walk it and say it. So when I speak to the president's people, I say, we need flags. Can you get it done and use your leverage? They believe me because I owned it, just like you would say, yeah. yeah. We have to know also that we have to share it. We have to share who we are and share our insights and our visions so they can own it. And I truly hope that I only have about four seconds that you vote for me so you can hear how you actually do that. Can I hear a yay? Yay! Yeah. Oh, really? Can I hear a yay? Yay! Yeah. Love you all. Thank you. Yeah.